The Artful Escape is a game that lives up to its title. It's artful. Not only in terms of looks, but fundamentally as well. This rock opera disguised as a 2.5D adventure game flaunts its creativity with a charming plot, sensational set pieces, and stunning visual and auditory elements. The trade-off mostly comes in the form of all too simplistic gameplay, alongside some other inconsistencies. Nevertheless, it's remarkably inventive. You play as Francis Vendetti, a 17-year-old guitar prodigy who happens to be the nephew of a renowned folk musician. He wants to meet the expectations set by his uncle's legacy, but his insecurities and uncertainty of who he really is get in the way, leaving him wanting to become someone else entirely. This fundamental characterization is conveyed through conversations he has with the locals of his hometown, which are effective enough at getting the point across. However, they're condensed into very little time, leaving them to feel somewhat stilted. Either way, a concept as ambitious as someone changing their entire personality could not be conveyed in the real world, in any amount of time. Insecurities are internalized, so dealing with them has to be an abstract journey. Luckily, that's exactly what this is. The night before his debut performance, Francis is taken away on a psychedelic voyage across the cosmos, in hopes of developing the rock star personality lying deep within him. He ends up meeting a cast of unearthly creatures, played by genuinely talented voice actors. While this odyssey is very much centered around him discovering who he is, other characters help him to achieve that. There are a few who stick around from beginning to end, providing witty and compelling dialogue throughout, but it's the one-offs who really amplify the adventure. For example, there's Star Gordon, a late night talk show host who interviews Francis. To avoid being outed as a human, Francis creates a believable alien persona, and some of its traits stick with him until the end. He also meets a woman who lives on a ship that contains a closet mall, where you get to play dress up. Even if providing him with a new wardrobe only changes his appearance, it in turn helps him to shake off his uncle's shadow. Although the offbeat characters and situations you encounter may seem to just be extravagant, there's always some poignancy within. Like the one you'll embark on, The Artful Escape has been on a journey of its own. In 2016, it looked somewhat unpolished. At least I can only assume that's what people thought in hindsight. Five years later though, the complete product features one of the best looking art styles I've ever seen in a game. If you haven't noticed, every character wears glasses, which could be a deliberate design choice or spawned by laziness. Whatever the case, everyone looks fantastic. As do the worlds they inhabit, which are animated and immersive. The stunning environments of the Heliotrons, Lumiere Violenta, and Glimmerdim City are made even more incredible with platforming that never distracts from their beauty, because there's low room for failure. This means that from tutorial to end, the difficulty curve is practically flat, and due to the limited controls, there's also a lack of variety, so it can get repetitive. However, when you're knee sliding down slopes of snow, pumping your fist in the air, and strumming the electric air guitar to the infectious harmonies, it's all too blissful to be called under thought. Innovation really only occurs on the surface level though. Slopes, for example, are contextualized as melodies, snowy hills, and the sides of skyscrapers. The most real depth you'll get out of the gameplay comes in the form of these Simon Says segments, where you encounter an important character, watch for the flashing lights on their head, and play notes on their corresponding buttons. Once again, there's little change from when it's introduced to the final few minutes, but at the very least, it adds some spice to the mix. The Artful Escape is only 4 hours long, but it certainly leaves a lasting impression. This deeply personal journey of a boy discovering who he is is wonderfully told in the context of an epic space odyssey and backed by fluid gameplay and electrifying music. It is held back from reaching its full potential due to a lack of variety and depth, leading to some repetition, but if you think this game appeals to you, chances are you'll like it.